Do you know what your cholesterol report is telling you? Do you really know what the numbers mean? I'm not talking here about whether the cholesterol is high or whether it is low. Anybody can see that on the report. What I'm talking about is the true meaning of these numbers. Do you, for instance, know what to do if your LDL cholesterol is normal, but your HDL cholesterol is low? Do you need to take medication in a situation like that? People often get their reports and are baffled by the numbers, the true meaning of the numbers. Cholesterol is a type of fat. Our bodies need cholesterol because cholesterol is used to make steroid hormones and to make certain vitamins and to repair and to build cells in the body. Our bodies make most of the cholesterol that we need, but we can also get cholesterol from our diets. Certain foods such as seafoods and whole fat dairy products and meats and eggs provide us with cholesterol in our diets. If the cholesterol is too high in our blood, it can lead to heart attacks and strokes. And heart attacks and strokes, cardiovascular disease, is the leading cause of death worldwide. Fortunately, today we have both the knowledge and the tools to decrease the risk for heart attacks and strokes. By understanding the true meaning of the numbers on your cholesterol report, you can significantly decrease the risk of your developing a heart attack or stroke in the future. Three quarters of the cholesterol our body makes is made in the liver. The cholesterol is then carried to the cells in the body, in the bloodstream, in packets known as lipoproteins. There are five main lipoproteins. These are kilomicrons, very low density lipoprotein, intermediate density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein, and high-density lipoprotein, or HDL. The typical blood tests for cholesterol will test for high-density lipoprotein, total cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, and triglycerides. LDL is the lipoprotein that transports cholesterol to the rest of the body in the blood. This means that LDL can transport cholesterol to the arteries and deposit it in the arteries, leading to a buildup of cholesterol in the arteries known as plaque. Plaque can block the arteries, and most heart attacks and strokes are caused by blocked arteries. For this reason, LDL cholesterol is called the bad cholesterol. And we want to keep our bad cholesterol as low as possible. The goal for our bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, is 100 milligrams per deciliter if you do not already have heart disease. If you already have cardiovascular heart disease or you are a high-risk diabetic patient, then that goal is decreased to 70 milligrams per deciliter. An LDL cholesterol greater than 100 but less than 130 is said to be above optimum. From 130 to 159, we say it is borderline high. From 160 to 189, we say it is high. And from 190 or above, we say the LDL cholesterol is very high. Because the LDL cholesterol is included in our total cholesterol reading, we want to keep our total cholesterol low. We do not want to block our arteries with fat. The goal for the total cholesterol is less than 200. From 200 to 239, we say the cholesterol is borderline high. From 240 or above, we see the total cholesterol is high. Triglycerides are another type of fat in our blood. 
Triglycerides come from the food that we eat and from fat stored in our bodies. Any excess calories that we eat are converted to triglycerides. Triglycerides are also associated with cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes. We therefore want to keep our triglyceride levels low. The optimum level for triglycerides is 150 milligrams per deciliter or lower. From 150 milligrams per deciliter to 199 milligrams per deciliter, we say our triglycerides are borderline high. If our triglycerides are from 200 to 499 milligrams per deciliter, we say the triglycerides are high. And from 500 or above, we say our triglycerides are very high. HDL is the lipoprotein that transports cholesterol from the arteries, from the periphery, to the liver, where it is excreted in our stool. HDL, therefore, cleans cholesterol from the arteries and transports it for excretion in the stool. The plaque that is built up by LDL cholesterol is therefore swept out by HDL. HDL is like a chimney sweep sweeping our arteries. For that reason, HDL is called the good cholesterol. We want our HDL cholesterol to be high. In men, a HDL cholesterol value of 40 or above is good. And in women, an HDL cholesterol value of 50 and above is good. The optimal value is 60 or above. But we do not want to go too high either. HDL cholesterol values above 80 have been associated with heart disease and strokes, especially in men. A low HDL is an independent risk factor for heart disease and stroke. For that reason, if your LDL cholesterol is normal, but your HDL is low, it can still put you at risk for heart disease and stroke. For that reason, doctors use the pooled cohort equations to calculate your 10-year cardiovascular disease, heart disease and stroke risk. The pooled cohort equations that are used to calculate 10-year heart disease risk include the HDL. If the 10-year heart disease risk is more than 7.5%, or if your LDL cholesterol is high, your doctor may consider starting medications to lower your cholesterol. If your LDL cholesterol value is borderline high, your doctor may recommend lifestyle changes. He may recommend eating a heart-healthy diet, getting regular exercise, lowering the stress level in your life, making sure that you do not drink excessively, and smoking cessation. Understanding the true meaning of the numbers on your cholesterol report can significantly decrease your risk of heart disease and stroke in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and share the video with your friends and family. You can support this channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.